Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you guys entry number 32. No, is that right? 30. Yeah, 32 into my IC card challenge. This one comes from Jennifer Crum, who is my sister. Um, she just recently started doing YouTube videos. So I will have, and she's also hosting a challenge as well. I'm going to show you one of her prize items here in just a second because uh, she sent me one. Um, so I'm going to, sorry, I'm like out of breath. I just got done chasing the baby down the hallway. But um, anyway, we are going to show you um, something that you can win because she sent me one. And I will have that video to her challenge linked in my description bar below. If you would go over there and show her some love and some support. Subscribe to her channel. Let her know that I sent you over there. And um, check out what she's got going on over there. She's probably one of the most creative people I know. I'm crafty, but she's like creative and crafty. I know you guys have heard me say this before. So please go over and check her out. Um, anyway, this is her gorgeous, and she sent me quite a bit. So you are going to see me probably go through this video as quickly as I can. So I don't have to do two videos because she sent me a lot. Um, some of it's just because friend mail and some of it's entries into the challenge. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And the first thing is this beautiful IC card. I love the butterflies on here. I also really love that flower down there at the bottom, which probably took a little while to, um, make. Because it's like eight or ten layers it looks like. Um, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous IC card. And something very funny about her IC card, she put her birthday on the back of it, even though she knows I know when her birthday is, so I just thought that was funny. I mean, I know she's, you know, trying to follow the rules like everybody should, but, I mean, we are sisters, so, and we, our birthdays are not that far apart, so we know, we know when our, our birthdays are. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is this loaded envelope she's made. Um, this down here feels like plastic. I'm almost positive that it is plastic, um, but I'm loving it. And then this front right here has a, you know, it's a little pocket, but it's made with that same paper that she used on her IC card, so they match. And then these two things were clipped on the front of it, but I kind of already took them out. A little teddy bear and a pair of lips. And then I'm not sure what you call this fabric, Jennifer, this trim right here. Um, but I have to say I love it. It's nice and soft and fuzzy. Um, and we have some feels like and looks like probably feathers coming out both sides of it there. And then she's put some flower flowers on the fold down piece right here as well as some bows underneath that and then another gorgeous flower right here in the center of it super super cute I like how and there's the back of it super darling I like how she's composed the an envelope just out of this card stop and so I'm going to just take all of this stuff out I pretty much know what's in here because we had long discussions about it this is made similar to, if anybody watched my loaded, uh, loaded heart envelope video, this is similar, made similar to that with the pocket on the front. It's not exactly like that, but again, she, she does her own way on things and that's just fine with me because it's usually something totally different than what I would do. Um, but that's how I get a lot of my inspiration Inside this envelope is a whole bunch of die cut pieces and the reason why she sent these um, die cut pieces is because she has different dies than I do and so she just started die cutting some of the stuff that I don't have like these are all flower pieces um, so that I can put them together and then here are the um, feathers birds of a feather flock together um and so whenever we send packages out she'll say like whenever i did my aliexpress haul 
like she'll say oh um i need some of those die cuts or i need some of those die cuts or whatever and vice versa and so she'll send them to me these are little birds here's a little wolf i don't know why i'm not in frame these are little butterflies in different sizes these are die cuts these are leather pieces of all these different flowers I love the different textures here is a um, I'm not sure what you call these other than a curly cue a little embellishment of sorts and more flower die cuts and the leaves to go with them she like always hooks me up like whenever I say yeah send me a couple of those she ends up sending me like a hundred of them so I won't have to have any flowers for a while all of these guys all of these die cuts I don't know if you just can see on camera exactly how much that is um, but it's a lot and then here we have some of the grass die cut that she has super cute and then here are some tags super cute and of course she's got them in all colors guys and then here she has ran these through her um, I forget what that machine is called but I call it a crimper I don't know if that's exactly right um, but she's run it through there easy to do um, rosettes with that's the reason why she sent them to me like that so that is number two thing she sent me so we have an IC card we have all the uh, loaded envelope she sent me a set of three of these embellishments here which are super cute um, and this is a leather piece and then um, she's put together these flowers she's put like a um, what's that called Chanel stem around the base of it and glued them down on there and then she's put these little two sayings on here which they're all three um, just about the same here's the other one seek joy and then here's the other one this one little flower on this one's fallen off so I'm gonna have to reattach it but never fear enjoy life so super cute so that's three embellishments there okay so the next thing go ahead and do these out of the way next thing is is we have three cards and of course she's got the die the pop-up die thing to make these cards and she has sent me the pieces to make a whole bunch of these cards um, in her last entry into my challenge which was for Valentine's Day and then here's this one super cute I love this butterfly I'm glad she sent me some and then she sent me this um, album and this is like a flip book but it's also a flip book photo album so I'm going to show you this guy she's see this is what I'm talking about it's magnetic of course she has made it in pinks and greens because she knows that's my favorite color I don't know where she got these here um, flower uh, what I call would call like a button uh, but I love it she's made me this feather and stuck it on there and so I'm gonna quickly show you how this works these are made to um, put little journaling spots in it add pictures to it there's a little pocket here um, here's a pocket or a place for a picture here um, little places for picture here if you choose to use it in this way um, this one flips open as well that one as well there's a pocket here super cute right guys this is what I'm talking about like I've made flip books and things but I've not made anything such as this here is a little band she's put in here a photo mat there this opens up you could totally put a picture there a picture here picture here little pictures there and close it back up and also she's got that on the back you can journal in this thing add pictures to this thing it is like the coolest thing ever little spots there this flips up here another little pocket in there and again she's got the same thing the same premise happens best buds and then we have all of these little spots super cute 
I like these stickers she used. And I like how it's so bright and fun. And she's used my favorite colors. So there we have that. And then here is another one. Super cute. And then here is another one. This flips up. Another pocket. And then that's the end of it. And then you can close it all back up and then it's magnet shuts. How stinking adorable is that? So that's what I'm talking about. My sister just turns something into something different. I never would think about it. Okay, so a little while back we had a swap that we signed up for. Now my sister's funny and I'm going to tell you why. We signed up for this swap on Fifty Shades of Crazy Crafters and it was for the Mother's Day bouquet. Now, this was the first set of swaps that my sister has signed up for, so she was kind of nervous, and she decided that she was going to, you know, do a trial run of her Mother's Day bouquet, and she made it in pink and green, of course, so she sent it to me, um, and so I'm going to show you what it is. Look how stinking cute. This is the base of it. And the bow is up here. This is the front of it. And she's kind of got this lace like a corset. And then she's got all this fun stuff down here at the bottom. And then she's used the same paper that the same paper collection on the album as she did on this. And it is so, too stinking cute. So two sides of it looks like this. Um, and this is just an altered like plastic vase. And she's just wrapped it and decorated it with all this good, fun stuff on here. I love these burlap bows she's got going on. Super duper awesome. That is just too stinking cute. You see that, y'all? I just can't even. And inside there's green feathers, y'all. So then she sent me these rosettes. And here's one. They go in part of the... And there's the back of it. Part of the entry or part of the swap was to alter a vase and um, make five rosettes. And so here are the rosettes that she tried pre before she made the real one. This is like her first attempt at making rosettes and altering a vase. So this isn't even the one that she sent out. This is just like the first trial run, she says, of it. Which, I don't know. To me, it looks like she's been making them for like a gajillion years. Super cute, right? And then, look at this bad boy. Like, this is bigger than my hand is around. I love the lace on here. She's made it so big. She's got a doily in the background here feathers in the background and this big pink burlap bow and then she's got this fun fur like all all around on every single one of them Woo. if you I mean can you not appreciate how big that is it's like almost as big as my head okay so there is that part of it so that's the vase she sent me and now I'm going to show you the pocket letter book thing but I'm going to pause the video and clean off my station here because I don't have enough space for all of it and I'll come right back to you okay. so the next thing up is um, her pocket letter which is a hanging pocket letter and this is what I was telling you about about being so so creative now that I see this, I know that the piece on the loaded envelope is not a feather, but it's some of this uh, type of trim here. Almost looks like a boa. Um, this right here. So it wasn't feather on top of the, the um, loaded envelope. It was this stuff. Super, super cute. And then, of course, she's got my name here. And then she's got one of these burlap bows and this big old Gerber daisy here on the front of it with the little bit of this um, mesh trim in the background and she made this out of wallpaper the covering to this is wallpaper guys super super gorgeous right 
So this is her pocket letter. And so I'm going to open it up. It opens up and it looks like this. You see what I'm talking about? Like, this is what I'm t telling you. And this is what you can win on her challenge that she has over there on her channel going on right now. Um, is one of these things plus a die. Um, so, if you are interested, and this is turned around, so I'm going to turn it this way. Um, if you're interested... Oh, shoes, sorry. If you're interested, let me just unplug that. In, in one of these bad boys, <clears throat> then go over and check her challenge out going on over there on her channel. So I'm going to start over here and work my way down. So the fronts of these, she's decorated just like a pocket letter, guys. And you can see how stinking cute these things are. Um, I love this little rose down here. She's got this one with fun fur all over it. Or eyelash trim. And then bling inside of it. I like this first pocket here with the tickets in it. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. This thing is very huge. It's hard to fit under my camera. Um, and then here we have another one of them tickets with buttons. I love buttons. And then this awesome with another one of them roses in the middle. We got bling around this one. I mean, look how stinking cute these pockets are. So then, after you're looking at the pockets, guys, in the front, you flip it over, and she has put little treats in every single one of these pockets. She, like, spoils me rotten, I tell you. There's all kinds of laces in here, all kinds of trims in here. Um, these, I had mentioned to her that I wanted to make, let me pull it out here, pull one of these out so you guys can see it. I wanted to make some fabric uh, rosettes, and so she just, you know, started making them. So here, here they are, she just puts them in here so that I can use them however which way I want. And she has, like, loaded all of these pockets with treats in the back. <coughs> and that is the purpose of this hanging um, pocket letter, is so that you can store all your little goodies in the back of these pockets and hang it up, and then you can go to it and just have something visual where you can see what's in each pocket and go right to it. And here's the next page. And find and have a storage system of all of your little bits and pieces that people send you. Or all the little trims and laces that people send you. You have a place to put it and you can go to it. And it's all in one spot for you. All you got to do is open it up. So here's the next pocket letter. So this is literally one pocket letter. And this is another pocket letter. And we have um, all of these little good bits and pieces on the fronts of these. She has decorated these things in her own unique way with little bits of pieces of the things that I love, you know, and the colors that I love. I love this little um, burlap flower she has down here. This one here is covered with fabric around the edges of it. She's put some bling pieces and some roses on it. And again, we flip it over and she's got more goodies in the backs of all these pockets. Here are some with buttons, which I love buttons. Eyelash trims in each of these pockets. Here are some ribbon in this one, some ribbon in this one, and some more of the um, um, fabric rosettes. Then she has attached these sheets that are blank in here so that I can put my own goodies inside of it. And then this is the background of it. And then you move over to the next side. And again, she has decorated, let me get this one back in here. 
she has decorated all of these little um, pockets on the outside as if they were pocket letters um, on here. Super, super cute. I love all of these little pockets. I mean, come on. You see how much time it took her to make this? Little bow in here. I love this little bicycle. I love these little um, paper flowers. This burlap flower down here at the bottom. And then you flip it over. And again, she has shared with me all this goodness. She like spoils me rotten. There's some buttons and some... What are those? These look like gems almost. Yeah. Look at how cute those are. Super cute. There's flowers in this one. We got buttons in this pocket and buttons in that pocket. Some of those would look really great for 4th of July. More lace, more ribbon, more flower rosettes. Um, some of these wooden buttons here. Super, super cute. And then, whoa! Flower on the outside. And then here's the next one. And again, she has decorated every single pocket. So super cute and unique in its own way. I really love the flowers here. I love how she's done this pocket. It looks really, really cute. We got another one of these time consuming flowers with another um, book flower. Uh, what I call a book flower. We have this one blinged out. We have bling on this one. Um, we got this one that's out of music note paper. Super cute. Here's a butterfly here and some more black buttons and a little cluster of flowers there at the top. That little daisy there. And then again she has shared all of this magic back here. All these different ribbons. These are uh, little flowers in here. These are wood pieces in here. And then here are some more flowers here. And then again, she's put four more pages, three more pages in here um, so that I can store more goodies inside of it. So that is like a whole ton of pocket magic right here. Pocket litter magic right here. You fold it up. And here is the back of it here. Um, she's left it blank because it lays against the wall. You're supposed to hang these up, you know, and it lays against the wall. So you don't want to put too much on the back of it. And I just couldn't get over how she uses wallpaper. This is wallpaper, the outside covering of this thing. Super gorgeous, super cute. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Things like this is what I'm talking about when I say my sister's so creative. I would have never have thought to put pockets in a book to hang up to store my goodies on. Like, I just never would have done that. Um, and so, like I said, she is having a um, challenge over on her channel where you can win one of those if you are interested in doing so. I will have her linked in the description bar below. And then, if that wasn't enough, guys, she sent me an entire box of goodies. Um, so I'm going to try to show you real quickly what they are. Um, she sent me these little ribbons, silver and gold. She sent me a black one, a purple one, a cream colored one, and a blue one. And these are like complete rolls almost of ribbon she sent me. They probably are complete rolls, knowing her. Then she sent me this Spellbinders 3D Bossabilities um, embossing folder. She had bought two of them on accident, and so she sent me the one that she had extra. Also inside this box is this feather, which is super, super cute. I don't know exactly how I'm going to craft with that, but I will find a way as always. Then she had die cut me a whole bunch of these squares, which are um, pinwell squares. So there's that. Then she sent me all of these pillow boxes that she put together already. I mean, there's a bunch of them in here. Probably like 10 or 15. 
all of these pillow boxes that she put together. All I got to do is put stuff in them. Then I have in here... Some of this color of tulle, which I have never seen this color. Um, it's like a coffee colored almost, but it's got like a mauve hint to it. Um, and so that will look really good on coffee themed project. So I'm excited about that. Then she sent me all of this, guys. You see all of this ribbon? I mean, there is so many different types of ribbon in this stack right here. I mean... It's like she cushioned her box with all this ribbon. All of it. You see that? I don't think I'll ever have to buy ribbon or trim again. Oh, and then the stuff that was on the outside of her loaded envelope, she sent me some of it. This is like pom-pom. I guess this is pom-pom trim. You see that? She sent me a whole ball of that. Then she sent me... This whole cluster of flowers. There's all kinds of different little flowers in here. Super cute. Then she sent me uh, these little flowers here. Look at these guys. These are super cute and paper flowers. Awesome. Then she sent me... I know, this box just is like never ending. She sent me all these samples of washi. Look at all these. I mean, and these are all the washies that she just recently hauled from AliExpress. She like sent me a sample of every single one of them. I'm quite certain that she's probably sent me a sample of every single washi she has. Because that's just the way that she rolls. And I love these washies. I love all of these washies. I don't have anything like these. These are super, super awesome. Look at those owls. I'm surprised Kamea let you give that up. She's my niece, guys. She loves owls. Here are some more of these little paper flowers in white and blue. She threw in here this butterfly. Super cute. I mean, when Jennifer says she's going to send you samples of stuff... She really likes sends you samples. These are some more of those flower rosettes. Here is some of this trim with the roses and the pearls intertwined with it. And that's sitting on a bow, guys. Then we have another one. It's also sitting on a bow. And this one is just the pearl trim. It doesn't have um, the flowers entwined with it. Here is another set of these, which are red flowers. Let's see. What is this? Here is some of this type of trim. Super, super cute. And it's got a mixture of colors in there. Dark green, all the way up to some blues. She like stuff that bag so full. If I try to take it out, I probably won't get it back in there. Then she made this guy and put it in the box. She's been collecting stuff for, for me for quite some time, I think, it looks like. Here's some of this lacy trim. Here is some orange and purple mixed eyelash trim. Some more of these fabric flowers. This one looks like it's got a silk back to it. Here's some more little purple flowers in there. I'm not taking all these out. Blue eyelash trim. Look at this applique, guys. Or this uh, wedding trim is what I call it. Look how gorgeous that is. That will look fun on like a shabby chic project. Then we have this stuff. This trim here. It's awesome and looks very old timey and country. Here are some more little butterflies. Super cute. 
here are some of these pur little purple flowers paper flowers and here are some pink flowers and a, another cluster of flowers in there there's different colors to that here is some pink eyelash trim here are some charms butterfly sea turtle seahorse super super cute some very thin ribbon uh, green and orange here's some white uh, ribbon that has like the wire to the sides of it and some yellow thin ribbon here are some wood butterflies super cute and some yellow flowers and some more pink eyelash trim but a different shade from the last one there's some pink lace here is some that's velvet I think I think that is velvet like um, burgundy ribbon some more pink flowers some brownish eyelash trim kind of got gold hints to it here's some of these little pink paper flowers or not pink they're like peachy here is some more wooden buttons and here is some wooden butterflies super cute some more wooden butterflies in different shapes not different shapes there is different shapes but different sizes here are some of these awesome little flowers that she made maybe maybe she didn't make those maybe she bought those somewhere they already have the adhesive on the back here are some pink flat back big gems some multicolored eyelash trim with all different colors the pinks and the greens the purples super cute it's kind of like a thinner here are some awesome flat back pearls that are iridescent I did order some of these from Aliexpress I did not think they were this dark of a purple I might have gotten like a lighter shade super cute here are some more little doodads and charms got flowers and turtles in there super cute here are some of those big flat back gems like the pink ones but these are red and then there's zebra striped ones down there in the bottom these are more of the um, fabric rosettes that she made for me here is some buttons and they got stars inside of them those are stinking cute look at how cute those are I love these buttons here is some more buttons they got a really really big giant button in there and then a metal one and like a coffee colored one and here we have some more little flowers we got some blue ribbon we got some pink little flowers in here to go with the other ones then we have whoa lost a piece we have some purple feathers here as well as some blue feathers here and then we have these awesome pieces look how cool those are they're like, um, I'm not sure what those are called. The color of that. They're like shiny and they change colors. Some blue lace. And some more. Are these buttons? I'm not sure if these are buttons or not. I think they're beads. Look at these cool beads she sent me. They're heavy, so I think they're beads. Let's see. We're almost to the end of the box, Jen. <laughs> we have some blue feathers. 
and then we have some of these little pieces here that are heart shapes and then there's like a flowered one in the back we got some of these pink flowers paper flowers some white paper flowers some heart pieces heart wood pieces and then we got a blue and green ribbon And then there is a, that's either navy or black ribbon in there, uh, like a royal blue, and then like a turquoise ribbon. So I'm going to take my phone, bear with me guys, I'm taking my phone off of um, the thing because I want to share with you, this stuff that you're seeing in front of you is everything that came out of the bottom of that box. That is not the projects that she sent me. This is like the friend mail stuff that she sent me. So, I mean, that's a lot. When Jennifer says she's going to do something, she like really goes above and beyond and set, is, does something. You know what I mean? You see, there's my sign for that Tina that's starting over made me. Um, and back behind me is Jennifer had made me another pocket letter at Valentine's Day that hangs up and it's on the back side of me. And up here is a um, basket that's hanging up that Lisa made me. Anywho, um, so thank you Jennifer so much for entering into my challenge. I mean, you outdid yourself with this box of goodies. Um, I think I'm going to have to add way more pockets into the inside of that pocket letter to hold all this. Um, but I shouldn't ever have to have um, ribbon or trim or any of that type of stuff ever again. I got all them washi samples. So thank you so much for taking the time to put all of this stuff in sample bags. I really do appreciate you. Of course you know I love ya. Um, and good luck into my challenge. I know that she did, uh, shares on video, or shares on video, shares on, um, social media, and you have, like, I don't know, 30 points, I think, but I'm gonna go back through and tally that again to make sure that's right. Um, so good luck in the entry, and, um, like I said before, guys, Please go over and visit her channel. I will link her in the description bar below. Show her some love and support and let her know that I sent you. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!